This does not look like a place you'd have Gremlin Workshop. But, anyways, hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM. I noticed that my sound was a bit clippy in the last one, I, I'm gonna try and not make it so clippy. I don't even know why the sound levels are so weird. Uh, so, we're doing a council mission, which is obviously amazing. It says it's just difficult, not very difficult like the last one. So, we're bringing Xan along. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, um, judging by how that last mission went, I am respecting this guy to do Haywire Protocol. Uh, there's actually no question about that. I really like him being an Overwatch guy, uh, but I think after the the hell that that robotic guy gave me, essentially, um, yeah, we're doing Haywire Protocol. There's absolutely no question about that. But that's after, just because we can't, like, Mr. Shiv is currently in sick bay. Uh, so, and we can't, it's, we can't respect this guy right now. Anyways, it's too good. Uh, welcome to the, uh, team squatty Donald Trump, who, uh, I, I, it's really, like, I don't know, like, you can't really make it look, like, there's no fat person fucking, like, whatever, so, and I am sorry again. Um, no, but, like, you can't make them look fat, like, it's just the limitations of the customization, so I don't really know what else to do with this. Uh, I don't know, there's really nothing else. I, I can't think of anyone else. Wait, do you guys notice his armor? Red, white, and blue? Oh, yeah. It's good shit. Uh, and then there's Adam. So I'm bringing along a lot more of these plasma grenades because I think that the incendiary grenades, at the very least, have fallen off now. Uh, I think that the regular grenades are now much better. I brought myself in. Even though we have this sweet new armor, th there's only one more health bonus over the armor that this gives. Actually, I think Kyle doesn't need this spider suit. I think I'm just going to give him the Gordon armor. Because he's actually fine. Here's the thing, I, I don't know what to give him for for this. I, I, I guess I'll just give him like a, I don't know, incendiary grenade or something. Apparently a smoke grenade doesn't work properly right now. So that's what I heard from someone that's bugged. Doesn't actually give defense bonuses, so I'll just give him incendiary. Uh, which is coming with us, he's got the nice armor, armor piece here. Uh, stasis vest, which should give him some health regen and stuff. Um, yeah, like, I'm just giving myself the spider suit because it shouldn't be in any danger, and the, the, as I said, the health bonus I'm going to actually show you is, like, the difference is, like, exosuit, it gives, like, five armor and one arm, uh, sorry, five health, one armor, and warden suit gives six health, one armor, so they're missing out on one health point for what is a heavy weapon. So I will upgrade these guys eventually, uh, priorities, you know, but that's it for that. Oh yes, and you'll also notice I gave the town rounds myself for more crit. Uh, mostly because I think that the bonus damage with Venom Rounds will scale better with Kyle's uh, face-off ability. Because I think it does bonus one damage for every single person. So, with a level 3 sniper, that doesn't exactly scale very well. Crits do. Crits scale amazingly well. Hence why I gave myself the crit ability. Yet. But, for him, I'm going to give him the Venom Rounds. And I'm going to see how that goes. Uh, so, this is not exactly our ideal team right now. I decided not to bring the Sire Soldier along. I want to level someone up because uh, I need the hacker. I need a combat hacker. Well, combat medic, I should say more. Like, Zan didn't get to do any medic stuff, really. I really should have probably used it in the last mission some more. Maybe Cand wouldn't have died, but whatever. And, and I mean, Jack Witchell is like, he sucks, so, yeah. Like, he's just, he's not very upgraded, so, you know. It's basically going to be my grenaders and my snipers carrying this entire mission. In position for deployment. The resistance is asking for our help in rescuing an important VIP of theirs that was recently captured by Advent forces in this region. Recon indicates plenty of hostile activity in the area. We'll need to lock down the AO, secure the VIP, and eliminate all enemy contacts standing in our way. I like the operation name, Operation Gunclaw. My god, this is so laggy when it's loading. This is wonders for my video rendering, by the way. Get a sweet new armor now, at least. Menace 1 5, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Oh my god, are we like in like. Where are we? Oh my god. We're in some weird next level, like... Are we, we're going to, like, a prison or something. 
This is messed up. And probably going to be extremely difficult. Let's open up with the spider suit. Alright. So we have um, some civvies over here. Dude, are we like... Are we breaking into a prison? I mean, it's a VIP rescue, so I think we are. To be perfectly honest. Got it covered. Alright, Donald Trump. Donald Trump, I think, will move down here. Let's do a move like this, just so we're sure nobody's Position over down front. here. Yeah. What do we have over there? Alright, we got, um... Couple muton guys and some other stuff. Okay. Uh, Overwatch is in. We'll go down to here again. Double time. And I guess Jimbag's gonna do this exact same thing almost. Because the thing is, Jimbag doesn't actually have any, uh, or Jack should I say. Jack doesn't actually have any things to help him with concealment at all. Um, this is a really awkward map, too. Like, he's just basically, like, the minute our, our squad breaks out of concealment. Oh, and also we have running gun on Adam. Are you, are you kidding again with the, the sectopods? Dude, we already dealt with one last mission. Alright. Um, I don't know about this now. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about this. Uh, let's go hack this guy then. Bypassing security. I mean, I think we're going to need all the turns we can get to deal with these guys. Uh, let's, see, let's see if we can get any good combat buffs from this. Oh, great. Fine. I'm not going to give it to the squad. Forget that. Although I would have gotten it, I think, but whatever. Alright. Uh, question is, are we going to open up this turn? Let's see. We got... A plasma grenade here. We need to move up slightly. That's not a bad place to move up to. I really hate sectopods now. Like it's it's actually giving me way too many of them now. I think I don't need to have that many. Uh, we're gonna do. Got it covered. We're gonna stay in Overwatch. We may want to save the shredder gun. I don't know, can, can Donald Trump move up anywhere? He probably could have been the one to open up here. But yeah, we're gonna do our little kill zone thing here. Like, I'm just, I'm now freaked out, because that, that last guy, he, he, he did a number on us, man. I just like how they just all fall down. It's the best. But now we have like massive crits. Because we wanna we wanna do this carefully, but at the same time I just like we need to get this going, so that's one. You know, mutons aren't nearly as threatening as they used to be. These these and Dravidons or whatever are pretty bad though. That guy down, and that's that one. Basically, almost dead. Right, I think Kyle's gonna shoot that guy. Or wait, no. Zed's got this. And Zen also critted. X-ray neutralized. I, I like how he's still just frozen. He's just like there's like no animations playing for any of this because it's just all happening in Overwatch. We're gonna, we're gonna sniper him. 
That's a good amount of damage. Now, I'm kind of afraid of moving too far up with these guys. 67 for Donald. Affirmative. Moving out. Okay, we have a grenade, actually. So if, if Jack can't take care of this, then we're just gonna... Ah, oh, Jack can take care of it. All right. Jack did something right for a change. I was gonna say, I, I had a grenade to use on him. So... All right, Jack is point man. Get over there and commandeer him, or something. Okay, how do we get up here? He can get up through that pipe. That is super dangerous for me to walk there. I think we will not do that. We'll go here. Why? Why is the civilian climbing up the pipe? What? Why? Yeah, let's get some reloads out. Uh, I think he has a free no, reload. Donald Trump can go... I don't know where. This is not good cover. I, I don't think anybody can shoot on like the first turn. It's mostly because I hear a sectopod, guys. I hear a sectopod in my dreams. And yeah, it's freaking me out. All right. Where's this civilian guy? He's like in the prison cell down here. Really? Can't actually see. Oh, we didn't need to zoom in that much. All right, we got to go into this little base thing. Yeah, we got to start making some moves, guys. It is clear. I just saw something. Got some in here. There he is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? They just go right through this stuff. That's insane. Yeah, we got an elite lancer there and an elite trooper there. All right, this guy's probably dead. Because we have a really high crit right now. Alright, we're gonna just overwatch for him, and I think we're gonna have people start to move up. Jack might be dead, because it's just like, I don't even know. Like, this stuff's really dangerous now for us to, like, it's dangerous for us to do a lot of these actions now. We gotta move these guys up to help him out. I'm all over it. Like, is there a point of me going anywhere? No, there really isn't. Beat. I, I'm finding it really difficult to make really good tactical decisions now, because it's just like we're we're limited by turns, and then I know there's a second pot on the map. Oh, lucky! Just oh my god, that's that's so fucking cool. What they do, I I can't even be mad. That's awesome. Like how they go on their two legs and he's now, he now counts, what the hell, where the hell is he going? It better not be another one. Alright. We're dealing with this guy this turn. Like that's, that's actually really neat. Hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. I love how he just like, he went through the ground. It's just a shame that the animations don't play for this stuff because it lo looks really cool to me. Uh, can... Can... Can you not go up here? What's the deal with this? In Marta. Okay, let's go lob a nice grenade up here for him. I don't want Jack to get hit though. We're gonna we're gonna strip off all of his armor first with grenades. Like that guy looks cool as shit. Okay. I really like the new sectopods. I just I don't know. Uh, even though it's like absolutely murdering me and I'm scared as shit, but 
they're cool as hell. That's all that matters. All right. I need a good position though. No need to ask twice. We're, we're, okay, basically my plan is to take him out this turn. Why did he... Was that a sprint? I'm going to go back to the beginning of the turn because I actually didn't see that was a sprint. That was my bad. I'm not going to change any of the actions. I still liked my actions. It's just uh, I wanted to... I want to hit him with two grenades, and actually, I think one of the people has an acid grenade. Yeah, the acid grenade I kept, so maybe I'm going to actually use the acid grenade on him now that I think about it. Yeah, actually, Adam had it, so I'm going to use the acid grenade. There he is. Acid grenade. The acid grenade. una granada! We need to strip off as much of that armor as we can. Threaded two armor, one damage. And then, where's Donald? Yeah, yeah, so it was a sprint. I mean, that was my bad, but whatever. Trying to just get a good grenade off on him. I love surprises. Uh, and I forgot that what, uh, Donald Trump doesn't have any abilities. Okay, so we have Overwatch here. He can run a gun, though. We kind of want him to Overwatch, though. Well, let's have a look here. We got Deadeye. I guess the most we're going to bring down his armor at this point. We can also get that elite trooper, but that's actually not really worth it. Eleven damage. All right, it's not the worst in the world. It's not good either, to be honest. I was really hoping we'd do a lot more damage than this. I think I think Jack has a grenade as well. We can use. He's got... Oh, what's his chance of... I can't see his health bar, so I don't know what the heck his chance of killing him is. Uh, he doesn't even have an incendiary grenade, so it's fine. How much health does this guy have left? That arm is tough. Okay, I think I think good old Zan is going to have to finish him off. Oh, there's a civvy that's blocking this thing. That's why I can't hit him. Oh my goodness. Alright, that's not good, actually. That civilian may have just screwed this entire thing up. I was wondering why I couldn't walk up there. And that would apparently be the reason why. Alright, so... I'm looking at my moves right now. And things are not really looking that good. However, I can run and gun into there. Like, I, it's funny because... Take any non-move action. Because, like, this thing actually may have just saved us. Moving to fire position. Like, it's the weirdest thing, but, like, that one hack may have just clutched this entire, the entire thing. Like, I actually can't believe it. Okay, why is this... See, why does this place not count as covered in that direction, is the question. So, like, usually you'd see a shield there. I don't see a shield there, which means he's gonna get flanked by somebody. We're gonna go there. On the move. You should be able to finish him. Oh my god, thank goodness we were able to deal with him. And we got... I don't know why we got a weapon drop from him. Let me just say that was a bit of a close call. Yeah, okay, so apparently I cannot access the ladder anymore up here. I'm going. <laughs> I love how Jack's like, ugh. You're making me do stuff. Alright, Zan is gonna... I want him to pick up the weapon. But I want him to overwatch at the same time. We're gonna have him overwatch. Overwatch is more important to me. 
I'm on it. On Overwatch. All right, let's get some of these guys in, inside here. Uh, Kyle definitely needs to come the hell up here. Roger that. Yeah, Sibby's just gonna be blocking that the entire time. That's awful. What he's doing to us. All right, so I'm thinking we can go up this side here, but it is pretty Hang dangerous to do so. Let's just make sure that there's nothing up else up here. Can I, uh... Okay, we're just gonna stay at Overwatch here. Alright. Jack's gonna have to run into here with this guy. Uh, well, there's not much of a choice of what to do here. Because we saw him go over there somewhere, but it's just like, we don't know where he is. Hack. Oh, it's a hack. Okay. Uh, where's Zan? Or not Zan, sorry. I keep saying Zan. Or no, is, is Zan actually here? Yeah, he is. Uh, can someone else run for this thing? Yeah, they can. Me muevo a la posición. I just want someone else to get it. Wow! Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. The Pierce Scope and Illyrium Core, alright. That was worth. At least I didn't do my my infamous run into run into shitty cover and, and take the take the uh, take the, the intel. Move. Can we hack from here? Yes, we can. Because we want him to I'll do it. it to be honest. Alright, small cache of alien allies or large cache? Let's go for large. Now I'm hoping this person can just move without me having to do anything Piece for them. Of cake. We got six turns to get out. We've got the VIP in time, moving to evac. Menace 1-5 status confirmed, VIP is in tow. Proceed to the extraction point. I'm pretty sure the guy left is some other pod, but we're gonna have to run now. Oh no, we're not reloading. I have. Do I have any grapples? I'm kind of looking around. Okay, the gra only grapples right there. All right, so here's what yes, we're gonna do: run down there and grapple up there. I would have liked to grapple there, but... Here's the thing, we don't know where that other guy is. So this is actually super duper dangerous for me to do that. Well, let's have a look here. Can, can I move this person? Yes, I can. And we can actually just go... Where are my actions? So we can go out this way. What the hell? There's a... There's a, there's a hole in her cell! Wait a second here. She was free to leave anytime she wanted and the door was useless. Good stuff. But we're leaving from the other side. That's a really crappy cell. Typical advent. Am I right, guys? Alright. Uh, Adam265 will go right over here, I think. Because this, this, this is dangerous to move out too much, but we have six turns, so let's l at least let our sniper get up there. Right, I just want to kind of move this person into some cover, but I don't know where. This person's so dead if that guy comes back and flanks us, but really there's nothing we can do, so. Double time. Time. All right, let's hope nobody gets triggered. Nobody got triggered. Oh, great. 
Menace 1-5, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Alright, here is the plan now. Our good friend Overwatch then is actually not really going to do much. I think Jack's going to move up to the roof. They actually don't really know what to do with them. This thing is not showing me the... Oh, there we go. There's the roof. One sec. Okay, can you just show me the roof? There we go. It's like I have to like have my mouse on it. All right, let's move here and let's see what's up there. I hope it's worth it too, to be honest. Oh, there's some admin here. Well, we know they're there. Just because I could, for some whatever reason, see them through the wall. Let's see. What do we, what else do we got here? Uh, can I move? Can I grab my way all the way to the top here? I want to go up here. That's a thing. I could go here and then like over here or something, but I just need my sniper in a high position. Actually, let's go here and then grapple, oh, yeah, grapple up there. Grappling is the most amazing thing in the world. You guys are right. This could be dangerous, but we're gonna do it. Okay, not not overly dangerous, but dangerous enough. Okay, Donald Trump is gonna go right over here. Good to go. Tarn will go kind of close-ish, but not that dangerous. Like, uh, we don't know we don't know if they can get through the wall there or something, so we're gonna have to move them. On right the here. move. Heading out. Ben's gonna have to go up here. Hopefully we don't see them. Because I keep seeing them, but they're not activating. Okay, it's freaking me the hell out, I'll be honest. Alright, this person's just gonna go right here. We got five turns, so. Oh, Adam's here too. Adam's got run and gun though, which is funny. But I don't know if we'll use it. Because I think what we'll do is we'll put him on the roof here. Alright. So after we take care of all these schmucks, we should be okay. We got we got grenades and we got like four turns, so uh, bearing like a sectopod. We should be okay. Let's see, how close are they? Uh, my sniper can literally see all of them. This is some good opportunity for some, uh, some serial shots. Kyle, unfortunately, isn't in a position to do anything here. Alright, let's see what Adam has for his, uh, grenades. Got a grenade. orden. I want to take out that guy's armor. I mean, we can maybe get some upgrades for somebody, but we already know... Like, Jack could use some upgrades. But he's like, that's not a good position. Donald Trump needs an upgrade though. I, th I think if I go here, I'm going to activate the rest of the pod here, which is dangerous to do. So maybe we shouldn't do it. Because we did, we know they're there, to be honest. Alright, we're definitely activating Cyril this round, though. Because I could, like, I could basically take out all these guys. So I, I was skeptical on if cereal was even a good option, but apparently it's super good. I wonder what my my crit penalty is right now. It's like literally nothing. I 
And then we can reload with our final action. <laughs> Alright, how much do we have left now? Done my loss. Getting it done. I, I still have another action with this guy. That's insane. Alright, it'll take us about, I think, about two turns to pull out if we sprint. Locked and loaded. Back on Come get some. some. Alright, this person's kind of stuck. Scanning. Spin the bite. Yeah, look, we can still see them down there all the time. One five hostile interceptors are on high speed approach. Your window for extraction is closing. Advent forces on the ground. Yeah, I assume they were there. Oh wait, there's like, there's four of them apparently, so it's a bit different than I thought it was. Alright, so they all ran out here in the open like a bunch of turds. This is like the worst cone of fire, so we're not going to do that. Where's Adam? Hello, Adam. We got that demolition ability. Fire your car target's cover, doing no damage to it. Okay, that's useless for the situation. I'm gonna just fire a rocket right into this group here. Blanco fijado. I mean, they're nice and clustered up, so like, what the real the re reason is more why not do this to them? This is for you. I maybe could have actually gotten that guy if I'd aimed that better, but whatever. Uh, Donald Trump needs some needs some levels. Okay, apparently he's not gonna get any levels today. Oh, 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 man, guys. Oh, oh my god. No problem, boss. Guys, I'm about to, uh... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, no, this is worth it. Oh my god, this is so worth it. Okay, this is... This is one. This is basically his, uh, his free action. And then... And then... And then... And then, mm, yes, oh yeah, one, two, three, four, dead advent, sort of dead, but not really. Multiple targets down. Multiple targets down, guys. Definitely earned his promotion there, all right. Uh, I think Jack's gonna go sword, sword someone, as unreliable as that is. I, I, I expect nothing, so... Oh, but I'll still be disappointed somehow. Oh shit, he did what he was supposed to. The Christmas miracle, everybody. Okay, so I got one. Alright, is there, um... Any other... I don't think there's any more beacons or anything like that. Moving to position. Alright, we're going here. Uh, was that a sprint? I guess it was. I'm worried about looking into that room, because you just don't know what's there, you know, guys? We got three turns, let's make it kind of safe. I don't know now. It is, it is super dangerous for me to move out here. Like this. Because, like, we don't actually... I don't think we've ever had vision in this room, so... We don't actually want to go there, but we'll go over here. Look out! Alright. Now we sprint the hell over there. So... There's absolutely no question about it. Run. We have we have to run there because we will not make it in the next turn if we don't do this. But it looks like we're okay. So. Yeah, we're fine. Stepping off. Ten four. Go go go. Looks like we'll be. Well, it looks like we'll make it fine. And it was kind of close, I'll be honest. We did it within like one turn, so it's a, it's a good thing I didn't wait on that. Um, this is this is what I'm the habit I'm getting used to. It. I can't wait.
because of the turns. You're out of time. Get to the evac point now. I, I can't just wait for an opening all the time, you know? And I can't just, like, farm just some bullshit with people. So nobody died here. We took out the sectopod immediately. Um, things went probably a lot better than they, they could have. I don't think anybody took damage here, which is also a good thing. Um, unfortunately, I don't think Donald Trump got any levels. Uh, that's that's kind of why I brought him along, and he just didn't kill anything, I think. I guess we'll see at the end, end screenshot, won't we? So in that sense, this mission didn't go terribly well. Because the, the actual reasons I wanted some people to come along, they just they didn't get anything out of it. So... That was a close one, I'll tell you that much. Mission accomplished. Nobody got wounded either, so... I mean, I, I guess it's better to count your blessings than anything. Uh, let's just like, you know, if... If, if all my colonels and stuff were getting all the, 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 uh, the kills, then it's just not a good thing, you know. Because I have no replacements for them at all. It's just... I don't know. It's, it's... Something to think about, you know. I gotta get that power facility soon, but I want to finish up these weapon upgrades because we're at a point where it's like like every bit of damage now matters. So, all right, see so you upgraded. Cross your fingers, guys. Uh, we should get like a set amount of experience. We're even bringing them on a mission. We really put a hurt on the aliens this time, Commander. They no. Won't forget it. No kill, so no upgrade. That's terrible. All right. So our good friend here has hunkered down. Now confers a plus twenty aim for the first shot in the following turn. And if you did not move during the last turn, gain plus ten aim and t plus ten critical chance. That's like neither of these are really particularly good for a a pistol. Or so I guess steady hands. It's just because like that's always great. When he's gonna use a snipe, sniper kind of stuff. Uh, we can enter concealment, or we can do take an action after dashing. I mean, I don't even like him as like a, a shotgunner, anyways. But sure, we'll do this. I right, brought what looks to be I don't know some guy back and some data cache stuff. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Ah, Jack is no longer depressed. Alright, so this guy can do definitely some things. Uh, we got 37 supplies. Real tactics, proving ground, nothing. I'm not building anything there. Oh, wait, we can. We, oh, wait, we don't even need to do that because we can still increase the adventure power like this. Wow, okay, we absolutely do not need to build anything with that then. Like, screw this last slot. Like, what the hell else are we gonna make? We got another five slots, like, what the hell can I build here? Just resistance comms, that's it. Assuming the shadow chamber doesn't want me to build something. Which it might. Or no. Uh, what, well, how much power does this thing take up? Four, and then the other thing, I th and then I think that resistance comms takes up, uh, like, how much does it take up? I mean, I could just kill a lab or something, like, if I don't want it, you know? I don't know how much it normally takes up. I think there's some people available. All, right, all of our brown might as well excavate something. Uh, honestly, then, you know what? This guy doesn't even need to, be, need to be on Avenger power. We don't need it. Because we're at max. It's fine. I don't know if there's anything else I'm ever going to build from this, but whatever. All right. Um, I mean, I remember at um Enemy Unknown, there was, like, something you build as a result of research, but who knows? I, I don't know. The slots don't seem to correlate to that. Alright, let's go to the bridge. Actually, no, no, no. Uh, to start shit off, uh, I'm actually... No, I don't know now. Uh, so, stealth is out for three days. Um, oh, I think Mr. Shiv is back, and so is Zan. Okay. We are retraining Zan to do robots. Uh, where's retraining? I think it's Proving Ground? No? Which one was it? Lab or advanced warfare. Alright, retrains a soldier. So how long would Zan be out for? He is out for 
a very unclear amount of days. Oh, there we go. Five. Five days. That's actually not so bad. Um, so, because if we get another mission between now and then, which we might, I'm just going to bring the other guy along. Ambush. No, we don't want to do that. Setting Let's finish the radio relay. Because this way we get our nice little upgrades, too. Oh, man. Alright. He's got. Oh, I didn't even bring this guy on yet. Okay, what else can we get this guy to do? Permanent mind control and enemy. Only one successful domination could be performed. Yeah, totally getting that. <laughs> the question is can I dominate a sectoid to dominate someone else? Now operational. Okay. Although I'm impressed with the strides we've made in infiltrating the alien psionic network. The depths of their technological advancement continue to leave us one step behind. However, with the enhanced decryption capabilities of this chamber, I'm confident we will find a great deal more information than we had previously hoped. This looks cool as shit. New objective added. Examine the recovered black site. New file. objective added. Okay. We are fully prepared to begin our analysis of the material recovered from the Advent Black Site, Commander. With the Shadow Chamber fully operational, we can use its advanced decryption capabilities to analyze the Codex artifact recovered by our forces. I guess we'll just switch to that then. Black Site. Why else do that? Yeah, that's fine. I'd rather continue with the storyline, I think, rather than that. All right, that worked out pretty well. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Leading the resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. We will have to do better. What? Oh, why? Why? Is it because the alien activity went high? And I, I actually don't know why he's pissed at me. <laughs> Must be that. All right, Avatar Project Minor Breakthrough. Uh, this thing, and then alien infiltrator. I'm gonna reveal this in an event now because it could be like sectopods in every area. Okay. Reading you loud and clear. Oh, we got this guy. Avenger right, plotting new course. A uh, commander, we still have a supply drop. Yeah, isn't that what we're doing? Ah, there we go. Arm to the teeth. I literally told- I literally said that we are gonna do it. We're gonna do that mission too. Just to tell you guys. Yeah, we need to do this like right- right away. Cause that's like, terrifying. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Can I just get my fucking supplies? Alright. Wait, he just got aid protocol. Oh no, no, cause he- he had that to begin with. Alright, so... Uh, what we're gonna do is start with okay, so uh, we there's guaranteed damage and then there's a uh, medical protocol, which is um, we want medical protocol. Then we want haywire protocol because that that is the thing I've retrained him for. Scanning the area or uh, better med kits. And I still like covering fire. I'm still gonna make him the same guardian Overwatch Lord. I didn't even use restoration at all, did I? No, I still haven't had really opportunity. I don't think I've been using my medics properly, to be honest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame that. That's totally on me, guys. All right, let's just finish up this thing right here. What the hell is this thing? Why does it have two things, two bars? Commander, in it? we've had the shadow chamber running the numbers. These are the tactical projections for our next field operation. What? Oh, whoa! Whoa! Whoa, this actually tells me shit. Archon, Elite Lancer, Sectopod. So this is a Sectopod there. Uh, I, I accidentally clicked it. Still can't believe it's come to this. I truly hope those gruesome images are the worst of what we find today. They're slaughtering us, Doctor. What could be worse? We're about to find out. I patched the Shadow Chamber directly into the ship's computer. It's been sifting through the material we've recovered non-stop since our return, cataloging sequences. Genetic sequences, in near infinite combinations, yet all bearing similar genetic markers. Human markers. There 
must be thousands of them. Tens of thousands. And the procedure is still nowhere near complete. Which is why we need the ship's computer to find out where they came from. By cross-referencing them with the data we've managed to hack from the Advent Network. It's... an admission file from one of the gene therapy clinics. Avatar? Just what exactly is in that vial? In my worst nightmares, I would never have imagined. Doctor. I believe we have found the missing civilians. That's... That's impossible. The gene clinics. Millions of people just looking for help. Medically screened and selected. Suitable candidates taken to that contemptible facility to be processed, refined into the material we now possess. But why do this? I could not begin to fathom a guess at this point. There exists no research that would ever warrant this. It's genocide, Doctor. And these people are walking right into it. We may not know what they're doing with this stuff, but I think I can find out where it's going. Got it. It's a high security production facility. Standard defensive complement. Then I strongly suggest we pay them a visit, Commander. Agreed. The information we gain could prove invaluable towards stopping the alien's true agenda. New objective added. So what, they're literally the Reapers? We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. They're Reapers. They're using humans as, as fuel. Alright, Codex Brain. I don't see the point right now of doing that. I just want to finish this, and then maybe we'll do the other little station there. We've made initial contact with the Resistance operatives working in this area, Commander. They're going to show us how to get into the Alien Forge facility. 14 enemies detected. Right, let's finish up this supply drop. Alright. New stuff. Alright, it's an ambush. Alright, we got arm to the teeth and some other stuff. Alright, let's do some upgrades because this is actually. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff. Yeah, whatever, Chen. Chen. But as it stands, we have people Chen. still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Okay, we want plasma rifle. Yes. Um, okay. Now, next question is, do we want storm gun, or do we want to All do... People, millions of innocent lives unknowingly walking right into the alien's trap. We should have realized sooner. We knew the aliens couldn't be trusted. But their message has always been louder than ours. And they've certainly got a lot more incentives to offer in the city centers than we do out here. Either uh, way, we can't let this go on, no matter what the cost. Yeah, so we got the war suit and we got a race suit. So I'm gonna make, I think, one of these guys potentially, and then I, I need like I mostly need two war suits to be honest. Let's make two war suits then. Experimental powered weapon. Okay. One more war suit. We have no more cores, but that's fine. Because those those guys are the frontliners. I'm okay with using the, sp the, sp the spider suit still for a certain thing. So we need to get some more cores, though. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Mine shield. Maybe I should make a, a flashbang. But right, let's make the storm gun first. Oh, and then we can make maybe a gremlin. Let's make the gremlin. Uh, there's also the Hell Weave. Uh, how much bonus health does this give? I don't know how much it does. It doesn't actually really tell me, does it? It's actually a little bit annoying. I was hoping that this thing would tell me something, but no. Two chrysalid corpses for this, though. I'm going to take a flashbang, because that's just a better option than the, uh, the smoke grenade that I made earlier. And we also have 69 supplies now. My favorite number. But no, but like seriously, uh, um, all right, let's have a look. Proving ground is literally nothing anymore because we just need Illyrium cores now. That's not fun. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I kind of want to try out that armor piece because it's free. Well, it's not free. It costs supplies. 
But I mean, they're not gonna be doing doing anything else this month, I think. So let's let's try it out. All right, before we decide on what mission to do, let's uh, have a look at this thing. These soldiers. So first of all, for myself, um, so we have this guy. So now with this guy, I'm gonna do. So I can either do auto loader, miss shot damage, hair trigger. Fifty percent chance that a shot will not cost an action for that turn. I don't know about that. I, do I have that already on? But I want I want free reloads. Uh, I have expended magazine and increased aim by ten percent. Ah, oh, this is this is the best. So I'm just kind of I'm gonna just go right through these guys and uh, kind of have a look at what the options are right now. Uh, so stealth can do. Stealth looks badass as shit in that armor, actually. Uh, so we got the new war suit. So it does. Um, Actually, it does nothing except for add an extra piece of armor. It's not nearly as good as I thought it would be, actually, to be honest. Uh, so still, uh, let's see what this Hellweave armor does, because I'm actually worried. I'm actually curious. It automatically inflicts damage on any melee attackers. Okay. Wait, one sec. Uh, in addition to causing direct damage on melee attackers, Hellweave has a chance to set them with flame. It, that sounds that actually sounds terrible to be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you, it just sounds awful to be like Frank. It's just yeah. Like why? Why would you want that? Alright. I I don't know. Like it's just like you don't want to get hit by Malay stuff though, but she is the most likely to get hit by it, I guess, so I don't know, it's it's do you want the health regeneration or do you want the other thing, you know? It's kinda like it's weird. So Kyle Kyle I think is fine with what he has. Oh yeah, the war suit. We want to see the war suit. I just want to, I just want to check it out, you know. Uh, where's... I guess Pat will take it. And this nice purple suit. Alright, war suit. We're calling this heavy power armor the war suit. This is as tough and strong as we can make it. With plenty of power for handling heavy weapons. I like how he just nods his head. He's like, yep. Alright. Uh, so, I guess that's pretty much it for him. Uh, I mean, the rocket launcher, the rockets just still do the same amount of damage, it, it would appear. Let's see what this thing says when you hover over it. Shield wall, provide high cover to squad mates wherever you stand. Moving or attacking will cancel the effect. Okay, so if someone's in like a tough spot, I can give them high cover or something? Oh, wait. Maybe it's an ability I have to cast? I don't know. And, and once again, like, it's just all the other stuff is kind of bad, so. Uh, I can give him like hair trigger and stuff now, so I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll play around with that later, though. I just want to show off all that stuff. So the question is, where do we go next? And the answer is going to be, we're going to go do this guy, and then we're going to go up to the other dark event because I, I feel like we should we should cancel out. Um, so let's actually do, do we want to see the new shotguns, don't we? Yeah, I think we do. Before we go anywhere, let's see the new shotgun and the new other thing. I left. I, I just left the sword because I'm just like screw that thing. So this guy has a gremlin too, doesn't? Oh, no, no, that's not him. It's uh, Overwatch. He's got the gremlin too. Yeah, he does. So we can get. So it gives him like a hacking bonus of 20, which is nice. Um. So there's that, and then he's also got. Sorry, that new pit, that new plasma rifle. The seven to nine damage opposed to five to seven. So. Honestly, as I said, I think every little bit is going to matter. And then stealth, let's see her new shotgun. These shotguns look actually pretty cool. So, I get a 20% critical chance bonus. Just by having this shotgun. That's actually really nice. And a little bit of a damage uh, boost. The, 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 the crit rate, though, is actually probably one of the best things about that. So, um, yeah, we're definitely going to do, I think, that this mission here I, I like I don't know what order I should do it in because I, I know I see this thing uh, but like look at what's here uh, Andromedon Viper Secto Sectopod Elite Officer Elite Shardbar Ar Archon Sectoid Heavy Mech and Elite Trooper as I said I'm gonna do this one just to ease myself into it uh, this way I lower some of the dark event bullshit and then and then we just go up there just to make sure like I don't know if it's gonna reduce the thing it doesn't say if it's going to but I figure we might as well 
So that will be for next time, guys. So remember, we will be watching.